how's it going everybody so i would like to show you some really curious footage i got this week during a night dive in the philippines now these are three crabs and what are they doing here the honest answer is i don't know so obviously they're on a pile now they're trying to dig themselves into the sand which is an escape reflex which i see in many species of crabs in response to my video light and the dive light of my body now why are these three on a pile here so one of my online friends speculated that one of them is molding and then you know possibly the other ones are protecting it that could be i think probably they are mating and you know the I, i'm speculating here the one on the bottom is a female and the two ones on the top are males and they try to get to her at the same time and now nobody is mating and the, the males are kind of trying to push themselves off so i believe this is myra fugax or a related species of the same genus of a pepper crab very curious if you have other suggestions what this could be please let me know in the comments there is always so much natural history to find now we have more crab action and this again this is one of these encounters if you dive a couple of times during your vacation you might see something like that but you know you, you have to be really lucky and you know fortunately i live so close to these amazing oceans here that you know i would occasionally run into natural history encounters like this so it's a larger crab and what is it feeding on so this is a fire worm or sometimes also called a bristle worm so this is an annelid worm and this is a relative of these earthworms, you know, which you might have in your garden in the compost. And I actually posted a video last week about an annelid worm eating a small crab. So, you know, this is a, a revenge of the crabs, I guess. Now, the thing is that these fireworms are quite venomous. So I've never touched one. But, you know, I've been warned and you know, the ID books say that these bristles will stick in your body and then, you know, cause severe inflammation. And I obviously I wanted to avoid this. So for some reason, the crab doesn't seem to be bothered by this. Very curious encounter here. Now, what else do we have? We have this in that same dive site. We have these highly camouflaged shrimps. And, you know, I do want to get more footage of these very curious animals and here there's a crab being buried in the sand chilling out more amazing natural history from the same night dive now first of all you see a lot of fish larvae here which were just swarming our dive lights so the, you know the ocean is very thick in plankton you know at this point in time in april 2024 and at this spot we saw not one not two not three we saw four frogfish on one little patch and i think they're the same species even though one is significantly larger and it seems that they were probably feeding on this lava and you know is there a female with a couple of smaller males i'm not sure but it was just fascinating to see these rare fish you know four of them at once right normally you're lucky to see one so here the frogfish they're obviously a bit perturbed as well by our video lights but they're probably also profiting because we're attracting so many crustaceans which are probably food for them you can see the lure the lure of very well very nicely so this is just above the eye this is a modified spine of the dorsal fin which these frogfish use as fishing lures so essentially they attract smaller fish which think that this is a worm but you know i think in this situation they could just open their mouths and you know get this tiny uh, planktonic larval fish here and have a great meal so amazing stuff this is all the same dive right i want to stress this again you know sometimes you see these documentaries and then people are working on this 
for you know uh, months and years to get the footage. But you know, I think I think this is really good footage, and I filmed all of this during 55 minutes during one night dive. I got better footage than photographs because of all of these tiny fish of this fish lava here. Now, I hope you enjoyed this night diving footage. This is how things actually look for me during the night dive. So there is a lot of black nothing and then there is my buddy with a dive light a couple meters away from me. Check back soon. More good footage coming soon. Also check out 25 future dives. I wrote that with James Reimer, who is a great expert in corals. It's about the future of the oceans of planet Earth and the environmental problems and how they might escalate. See you soon.